Morning, everybody. I've been asked to do a playlist on graphing, top to bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. So starting around the grade seven or eight level, uh, graphing. Okay. So when you start the graphing unit, sometimes it seems a little scary because now you're dealing with things that look new. You know, uh, my goodness, there's this big thing. It's got all these squares in it. What do I do? Well, the first thing you can do is just relax because know that if you know how to count, which I hope you do by this point, you'll be just fine. You'll be good to go. What do I mean, know how to count? Well, there's things called a number line, and you can count on a number line. So imagine you have zero there, and we just made spaces. Okay, so this would be one, two, three, four, five. And it would go on forever, and it would go on this way too. But when you, like, you know, temperature, you know, you, you go below zero, you have a negative sign. So negative one, negative two, negative three, going forever this way, all the way to minus infinity and this way all the way to positive infinity, okay? So this is a number line, okay? It's, it's, you're, it's half of a graph already. So, um, you know, counting, one, two, three, nothing two out of this world there, okay? But a graph has two number lines, one going up and down and one going side to side. So I'll just continue to do this. When the temperature goes up, you know, that's how we mark it. Positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, all the way to plus infinity. I hope it doesn't get that hot. And then when it goes down, same thing. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and so on, all the way to minus infinity. So what we want to remember is as you move up, the numbers are positive. As you move down, the numbers are negative. Makes sense? I mean, this is real life here. This is how cold it is outside. The temperature is minus 25. Well, where, where, where I'm from, it gets like that. Minus 45 sometimes. And likewise, so that's up down. But when we move to the right, we can see that it also goes positive. I'll write that up here. It goes positive when it goes this way. And when you go left, anywhere, top or bottom, doesn't matter, because we're always talking about this line here, it's negative. Okay. So right is positive, left is negative, up is positive, down is negative. Okay? So that's what we need to remember about how a graph works. Now, just to describe the graph, these aren't just random lines. They have special names. Now what these names are, they call them axes and axes. So this line is called the x-axis, and this line up and down is called the y-axis. You write that in your book as x dash axis, okay? Y dash axis. So these are the names of these special lines. At the very middle is zero zero, okay? So this is the core of a graph. Now you'll probably see a graph in your textbook that looks more like you know it's going to have. It's going to have all the lines on it, right? Okay, and then it'll have like a line or a dot or something, whatever. Okay, I'll get into that in the next one. But when you see something like this, all you need to remember, all you need to remember is you're simply counting up and down on the y-axis and counting left and right on the x-axis from zero. That's it. Not scary at all. We'll plot a point in the next video, okay? Nothing to be afraid of.